Okay, welcome to Stewie's Adventures again. So, we're setting up in the dark. This is the first time I've actually set up in the dark. We've got plenty of firewood. Uh, as you can see, there's, we haven't even set up the camp yet. So, got the fire going. Need to make some coals for dinner. And over here, that's the moon. Unbelievable. Okay, so we're on our little uh, three-day uh, expedition. Our first night in camp is our secret spot. Camped here a couple times before. Got the billy on the, um, on the fire from the coals last night. Took some great photos last night. Today we're going out to the Dangali, see what happens. I've never been out that way. It's the most remote place I've ever been, so um, I cannot wait to get out there today, so it's uh, pretty cool. And uh, yeah, so see how the old stormy goes, and um, yeah, we're on a shack. Sorry about the uh, windscreen, the windscreen is absolutely filthy. So here we're going to the Dangali Conservation Park, 166 kilometers. Well, Yunta is about 185 away, and there you go. So we literally are. So right now my daughter's driving, she's on the L plates. We are in the middle of nowhere. There's not a car in sight. Okay, we found this little track. It's pretty cool. Um, don't know where it leads, don't know how to get out. Don't really care trying to protect the things on our roof. Oh, here we go, bang. Still in two-wheel drive, it's um, pretty dry out here, so we have no idea where we are. Nice and slowly, but the roof, nice and slowly. So we're going. <laughs> We're going past all these trees and we, we are completely lost. That fence over there does absolutely nothing. There's a tree over 
tree here. Get past this landing. You know right? Good job. Ow. Not bad at all. So the track just basically goes along the fence. The fence absolutely useless. Half you know, half the time it's on its side. We are somewhere between Borough and the Dangali Conservation Park. We've taken a left hand turn off. Oh dear. Ah, so you need to go around this side. Now, if you don't know where your shoes are, I found them. There's nothing left of this thing. The only thing that's good on this car is a CB aerial holder. <laughs> so we're finally heading towards the uh, Dangali, we're not far, we've come across this little great section where there's a lot more sand, there's been a bit of water so you see these little patches this year, well but they're just starting to turn into a bit of sand so let me tell you if this had been a wet day this would have been fun. here <clears throat> looks pretty cool it gets soft in some spots but it's, look, I'm still in two-wheel drive so it's not that hard
So here we are, the Dangali Wilderness Protection Area. So I think it's a little bit different to the Dangali um, Conservation Park. So I don't really know. But anyway, we're over there having a bit of lunch. Come over here, you always read these things. Always a wealth of knowledge. So we, I don't know where we are, we're in, I got no, no idea where we are, anyway. Anyway, so you got information here, it's 12 bucks a night, you know, and then bugger me, I'm nearly famous, look at this. Stewie's Adventures 4x4, follow on Insta and YouTube. I wonder who wrote that? All the way out here. There's no one. I mean, there is no one. We've been traveling all day and have not seen one car. So we found a spot to camp for the night. Um, don't know really where we are. We did take a wrong turn off before and actually heading the wrong way. So I lost my bearings, but um, found a couple of guys on, on some motorbikes. They told us to go back. And then um, we just you know, found this little spot. So uh, we've got the camp in here. Got the solar power going at the, at the front of the car. Yeah, we're not really doing anything at the moment. We're just sort of relaxing, and uh, we haven't even taken the um, swags off the roof yet. Just waiting for the cool down. So yeah, we come in. I don't know. Maybe that way, or maybe we come in that way. What's interesting is all these little holes. So you can drive over these holes. Car falls in them. Your car just falls in them. So they're everywhere. So here's a bit bigger one over here. So you drive over this, and all of a sudden, for no reason, there's a bloody hole in the ground. It goes all the way along. So yeah, like I said, we don't, I don't really know where we are. Be someone's property it could be the national park it could be crown land it could be who bloody knows really it's a bit warm out here it's probably about 30 degrees but right at this stage we're not that used to the old warm weather so there's plenty of wood here we'll get a fire going later um, right now the sun the sun's setting and um yeah we're just gonna sit in the shade for a little while Love it. I mean, your tracks are the only tracks. Yeah, so we're just making a bit of a gully ponds there. There is rice in there as well, so it's just about sunset. Somewhere in this South Australian outback. Don't really know where, but the bloody flies. Yeah. 
back in Australia. In the scheme of things, it's not that hot out here today. It's probably 27, maybe 30 degrees. But it's rugged. It is rugged. The flies are bad, the mosquitoes are horrendous. Crickets, they just don't stop. There is zero bird life out here. You might see one occasionally. And the prickles under my feet oh, are unbelievable. everywhere. It's all over my car. The tyres are pretty uh, flashy at the moment. Even my feet. Look at my feet. Oh, that's bad. This was new a week ago. The dirt, the dust up there. Oh, stormy, eh?
this is going to be camp number three. swim if we want to, there's probably a good chance we're not going to. <laughs> beautiful, beautiful across the river there. A couple of houseboats all the way in the distance. <laughs> 